Today we are discussing The Beekeeper. It's a David Ayer action movie starring Jason Statham. A beekeeper with a special set of skills takes revenge on a group of scammers. I feel like I've seen this movie a dozen times before, even with Jason Statham as the star in a movie called Wrath of Man. It has a very similar revenge plot, except this time he's a beekeeper in The Beekeeper, so I guess that's this movie's gimmick. And of course, the bright spot as usual in Statham films is Statham himself. Himself. I say it every time, I said it for Meg 2 and Expendables 4, Statham carries these movies on his back. He has loads of charisma and quippy dialogue. He knows exactly the kind of actor he is and it works. The action as well, again, as we usually see from Statham movies, is great. David Ayer is a capable action director, so it's no surprise here the action is well choreographed. And the R rating adds more fun for the action sequences, but unfortunately, that's where the fun ended for me while watching watching The Beekeeper, I had some decent expectations for this movie because it looked like it had potential to be just as good as Guy Ritchie's Wrath of Man. However, this was by no means a good movie. First off, the movie definitely thinks it's better than it is and can take itself too seriously. There's a variety of trippy camera shots who come off pretentious. Some of the shots give you that wow cinematography vibe, but then you remember the movie you're watching and how we got to this place in the film from the beginning. And you realize, wait a minute, this is not a good movie. Why are they pretending this is? How we get to Statham's bloodthirsty rampage is very silly. I find it hard to believe what takes place in the movie's early moments is anywhere close to how something similar would occur in real life. The main villain of the movie is this criminal organization who act as hackers and steal people's money through the internet. But you have to suspend your disbelief because I highly doubt there are any organizations out there who exist like this. And if they do, they don't operate like a big time corporation. They'd be shut down immediately because they're doing everything business-wise illegally. On top of this, the dialogue is far from great, nor do I understand why Statham's character is so motivated to take down this corruption. Statham goes so far down the rabbit hole to the point where if he were caught, he'd see the electric chair. He kills so many people, and it's not like this is a deeply personal revenge path for the character. I find it weird, too, seeing Jeremy Irons and Josh Hutcherson in the film alongside Jason Statham. For Statham, a movie like this is his norm, but Hutcherson and Irons usually do things that are better than this, and I guess MGM paid them a lot of money to appear and be main characters in the film. And after everything we sit through, the movie just ends. Clearly, they didn't feel like writing an ending, so you have your final confrontation, then like a minute later, it's over. And you know what? I should have seen it coming. January has always been known as the crappy month of cinema. Last year was an outlier because the movies were actually good. But now this year, we're back to the same old crappy January. So I'm giving The Beekeeper a 5 out of 10. All right, have you guys seen The Beekeeper? If you have, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And of course, as always, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you all next time.